Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bobby Broyles, along with Rob Washburn with the FCS Playoff Semifinal Edition of This Week in CA Football, presented by GEICO. Congratulations to the Maine mm -hmm. Black Bears. What a phenomenal performance they had on the road, Rob, at Weber State. Mm -hmm. Defense was spectacular, and the offense made huge plays when needed. Yeah, it was definitely a tremendous all-around mm -hmm. team effort, and Maine needed all of those contributions to knock off a very good Weber State team on a field where they had won nine straight games. Now, as you said, the Black Hole defense was yep. just sensational, recording a season high 13 tackles for loss, limiting the Wildcats to negative one yard rushing and intercepting four passes. They controlled the game and more importantly helped flip field position until the main offense was finally able to get on track. Now the Black Bears offense didn't turn in their best performance of the year but they made plays when they needed to. Chris Ferguson's nine yard TD toss to Jaquan Blair provided momentum going into halftime and then that big 67 yard slant pass to Ernest Edwards on the opening drive of the second half provided some cushion. After Weber State was able to pull back within two, Maine once again showed the toughness and resilience that they've had all year long as Jeff Devon made a huge interception with five minutes to go and Ramon Jefferson broke loose for a 45-yard touchdown run. The Black Bear special teams also got in the act as Kenny Doak drilled a clutch 46-yard field goal with 134 remaining that sealed Maine's first ever trip to the FCS semifinals. Now with that win, CA football has now had a team in the semifinals for six consecutive years and perhaps more impressively, the Black Bears are the fifth different team team. Mm represent the conference over that stretch. It once again shows the quality and depth of CA yes, football. Yes, it does. Maine will look to continue their run to Frisco once again on the road this weekend. They get an extra day off, which that should help a little yeah. bit as they cross a, go across the country again to take on Eastern Washington on the red turf mm -hmm. this Saturday at 2 o'clock on ESPN2. A national championship appearance for the Black Bears will be on the line, Rob, but let's first begin on the offensive side for Maine. How do they stack up against this Eagles defense? Yeah, As we said earlier, Maine didn't have its best statistical performance offensively last week, but they were able to hit on big plays in both the running and passing game, and perhaps more importantly, only turned the ball over once and had a slight edge in time of possession. You have to give credit to a Weber State defense that, as we talked about last week, was the best in the big sky. And while Eastern Washington is not quite at that level, they're a solid unit. Now, one thing that quarterback Chris Ferguson has done a great job with during this playoff run is spreading the ball around, whether it's receivers Ernest Edwards, Micah Wright, and Jaquan Blair on the outside, or making use of reliable tight end Drew Belcher, who actually led the team with five receptions at Weber State. Freshman running back Ramon Jefferson has only been held under 80 yards once in the past seven games, and Maine is now 9-0 when picking up at least 100 yards on the ground. Having that balance will be critical again this week. Now, Maine has scored at least 20 points in their past eight games, including a season-high 55 in that win over Jacksonville State two weeks ago, and they will need to be at their best on Saturday. Now, Eastern Washington is number two in the Big Sky in both total defense and scoring defense, giving up 378 yards and 22 points per game. Their leading tackler is linebacker Kettner Cup, the younger brother of LA Rams receiver and Eastern Washington alum Cooper Cup, who has 98 tackles and five and a half tackles for loss for the season, and he made a career best 16 stops last week in their win over UC Davis. Well, let's take a look at on the other side of the ball as this black hole defense was on display in full force mm -hmm. at Weber State. This defense tried Travels well, Rob, and we'll need to do it again this Saturday at Eastern Washington. Yeah, Maine got contributions from all levels of their defense last week, but likely faces its toughest challenge of the year on Saturday. The Black Bears are number one in FCS against the run, giving up just 68 yards per game, and they've had held 11 of their last 13 opponents under 100 yards. When teams try to throw, the Black Bears are number two in FCS with 47 sacks, and they've intercepted 17 passes. Defensive end Kayon Whitaker might have had his best performance of the season at Weber State, while linebacker Sterling Sheffield Taji Lowe and Deshaun Stevens combined for 24 tackles and 7 tackles for loss. On the back end, Manny Patterson continues to lock down the opponent's top receiver with 22 pass breakups on the year. Jeff Devon had a pair of picks last Friday and Catley Joseph recorded 4 pass breakups. Now they'll be facing a high powered Eastern mm -hmm. Washington offense that's number 2 in FCS with 538 yards per game and is averaging 44 points per contest. The Eagles can hurt you in a number of ways, averaging 272 yards through the air and 200 and 67 on the ground. Maine coach Joe Harasimiak compared quarterback Eric Barrier to Towson's Tom Flacco with the way he can make plays with his arm and legs. He's passed for 17 TDs and run for seven more since taking over as the starter in midseason. In the backfield, Sam McPherson has rushed for 1,288 yards and 12 touchdowns, while top receiver Nasimba Webster
Hunter has 71 catches for 1,099 yards and 7 TDs. They've only been held under 30 points twice all season, once by Pac-12 team Washington State, the other by Weber State. Now, Eastern Washington is an experienced playoff team that hasn't lost a game all year on their famous red turf. However, Maine is now 7-0 against ranked opponents, and they have five victories this season on the road. They will come into this game with a bunch of confidence. Yes, they will. CASports.com backslash live scores is your source for live scoring and in-game live stats throughout this Saturday's game. And also remember to check in with us later Saturday night with a complete wrap-up with our CA Football Rewind on CAFootball.com. Yeah, and you can continue to follow the link on our many social media platforms such as Facebook.com backslash CA Football and Twitter at CA Football using the hashtag CAFB. That is it from us today. We'll be back next week to recap Saturday's contest. Good luck to Maine and enjoy the game, everyone.